So first we're going to work out the mean, then we're going to work out the standard deviation, and then we're going to do the standard error of the mean. Okay, so mean in Excel, that's actually called average. Now, to use a formula in Excel, we have to start by putting an equal sign, and then we type in average, double click, and it gives us the parentheses, now we highlight the cells we want to include, we close the parentheses, put in equals, and that gives us the mean of those three pieces of data. Now, I see how we've got this square down the bottom. I'm going to grab hold of that and drag it down, and that repeats and calculates the mean for each of these. And that's working out the mean. Now, the standard deviation Again, we can use Excel. So standard deviation, we start with equals. So here's standard deviation here. Double click on that, it gives us the parentheses. Highlight the cells, close the parentheses, press equals, drag that down again. Now, that's got too many um, decimal places for me, so let's just change that by clicking on format, number, I'm going to say three decimal places. All right, so that's our standard deviation. Now we're going to work out the standard error of the mean. The standard error of the mean, I'm going to, there's a, uh, well, we're actually going to use, we're going to create our own formula. But the standard error of the mean is the standard deviation divided by the square root of the number of samples. So equals, and we can just click on this to say standard deviation. Then we're going to go divided by, and then we're going to click on square root. So that's square root there. And it's square root of three, because we had three trials. Close our um, parentheses, press equals, and that's our standard error of the mean. Take that down as well. Might just again change the number of uh, decimal places. Okay, now, so we can then go ahead and make a graph of this. So, firstly, I'm going to highlight these cells for temp uh, the temperature data. Then I'm going to press Control, and then come across to the mean, and highlight those. And then we're going to say Insert Recommended Charts, and that's the one that we want. So press OK. Now, obviously we can tidy up the title. We don't want that title. But that's what the data looks like. Now, what we're going to do now is add the error bars. So we're going to press plus. Click on error bars. Now, we want to just modify these error bars somewhat. So firstly, what I'm going to do is we don't want these horizontal error bars. We just want the vertical error bars. Okay, now we're going to format the error bars. Okay, now we don't want the standard error because as you can see it's equal on either side. So we will actually add custom. Click on custom then specify value and we're going to say we want, oh, we want to use our standard error of the mean. Okay, so that's all we do there. Oops, and I'll just get rid of this plus. Okay, and then we go equals, and that is what our error bars look like. First condition, which is seven degrees, very small. Third one, which is 30 degrees, very small. This one at 40 degrees, there's a massive error bar. What we're looking for is, you know, the size of the error bar, but also the fact that it crosses over uh, some of this other data basically means that this point here may well be chopped by chance because who could be down here it could be up there may well just be chance but anyway we'll go through and analyze all of that that's essentially how you do your mean standard deviation standard error of the mean and then create your graph simples